going on guys welcome back to the channel it is the 24th of august we're going to take a look here this morning at aerodrome finance slash the united states dollar so our ticker symbol will be a e r o u s d a e r o u s d on tradingview.com and the coinbase is where this price data is coming from here Guys, welcome to the channel. It's been a little while since we've been on here, but we're finally starting to get some market movement. So I said, ah, I better get on there and uh, fill in all of the viewers and subscribers, guys. So let's jump back here in time just a little bit. We'll zoom into the charts to make this bigger for everybody to see, make it easier. We have here a, well, we have the large overhead resistance line right that's right here in this gray uh, translucent color right here we have a higher low we have a lower high then we actually took out the lows and put in this big bottom here uh so the bottom anyways for the for the markets across the board crypto and stock market basically all found a nice bottom uh the stock market might have been back in here um Anyways, this is a higher low, so we're higher than the low over here on the 5th. Higher low, pulled up, lower high. This whole section here is higher lows, and we actually are breaking out, let's see here, today, just about higher, yesterday, higher highs. So as that market pulled back, we found support at uh, one of my price levels here, which is 62,215, right here, 62. 215 that's this white dotted line so as the markets pulled back you know they were up in this area as they approach these levels we look for support and 62 215 was support it was support on the 15th of august as well as the 19th of august and the 20th and 21st of august didn't quite get down there but very close especially on the 21st of august so that's how these levels work here just like these two days here ended up finding support the 5th and 6th of august at the 61 to 75. anyways we have this overhead resistance line that we drew in that's markets we're respecting it as resistance right in here then we started to uh, get quiet here we tried to move on the 20th we didn't move actually big time to the upside and then reversed ticked up ticked up and then finally got the breakout on friday which is very nice to see uh, we had the markets break out as well as the uh, aerodrome finance and we might have had bitcoin move up as well off the check that chart so things are looking good here what i really want to talk about is how the markets are respecting the the overhead resistance line from back in here so this resistance line, if you've been uh, around the channel for a while, you know I've had this on the chart uh, for at least a couple of weeks. But then the market sold off here. And, you know, anyways, we find ourselves right back into that area. Look right here. Look where the market pulled all the way up to right in here. We also didn't quite make it to the 75,590. That's this yellow dotted line here. So as markets find support at lines below its current price markets can find resistance at prices at lines above its current price so one is a floor of support the others are ceilings of resistance and they can be either or it depends on which direction and where the price is relative to those lines so anyways we got close to uh 75 590 yesterday we hit a high of uh, let's see, 75,097 and 75,590 is that level. But we really respected this overhead resistance line. You can see we wicked through it on Friday and uh, closed just basically at or slightly below. And today is a uh, very quiet day, just down 2%. So things are looking bullish here finally getting some movement you know as the markets were pulling back in here and we found support really not much to cover i mean just another day 
respecting the overhead resistance line. So really not much to cover. But as markets start to find support here, I was writing that in the community section of the channel on the homepage there. The support at 62.215 and then we're finally getting a pop to the upside that, you know, this is worth covering here and showing you how one, these support levels work. Two, we're starting to get a break. We have a higher high. Looks like we took out the highs over here from the 8th of August. Three, we're still respecting this resistance line here. So if we take another zoom in here, what we're looking for next, so somewhere today, let's see if we can find support between 71 zero zero six and i mean you could go all the way up to 72 326 that's these three lines here we have one in the middle there at 71 745 i basically want to find support there you know out of the question that we pulled down here of course not but with three lines there i would think the market would find support at one of those and then you really want to see a continuation of what took place yesterday Looks like that was an 11.85% day. You want to see the markets uh, pretty soon here, the next couple of days, break out above this resistance line. So maybe today's an inside day. Maybe today's quiet. And then tomorrow, which would be Sunday the 25th, maybe we start to get that break back out of that overhead resistance line. You know, this is basically just one consolidation here. And we're looking for some bullish momentum to continue. And we definitely got that right side the past couple days. We want to see a break above that line. Right now it's resistance and has been going back to, um, let's see, mid-July. So we want to see a continuation of what took place the past couple days. We want to see something like this, guys. Let's take a zoom out here. You can see Aerodrome is just in one large consolidation going back. Looks like to the around the April May time frame. Mid mid May uh, mid April, excuse me. So this is just one large consolidation. And what's interesting here is you could just about drag this to its high candle back up in there, which was the twelfth of April. You could see it's respecting that. all the way back to to mid April there so it's quite interesting but you know will the price break out to the upside and lead to these big targets I have above the market you know it looks like three three sixty way up in here you know three seventeen I have I have price levels all the way up to those levels I don't think I have anything higher than three sixty at the moment I'll have to run those prices again so that's that guys it's good to see that the price is moving off support. We're right at some longer term resistance, which is this overhead uh, overhead line here. And we're looking for a breakout. And it might take place today, could take place tomorrow. What we don't want to see is a very hard sell-off, basically losing all of the past three days or so <clears throat> market gains. So we don't want to see something like this take place taking us all the way back down to 62 to 15 so keep your eyes on that but so far so good for aerodrome finance we're looking for that break to the upside if this large consolidation here that we've been in since the 12th of april does play out you know and we actually get the full move and the full breakout we'll easily see prices way up here at 360 now that's not going to happen in one day or one week or maybe not even one month. Everything has to start to move. So you need to see Bitcoin move and, you know, all of the alts, etc. Let's look at Bitcoin, by the way. So Bitcoin, we were looking for a Bitcoin breakout. If we take you back in time a little bit over in here, we had support. We started to move higher. We couldn't get above 68748 that was our resistance here for Bitcoin and the market sold off, putting in lower lows. What we do have here is a 
starting to look like a failed. So we have a we had a head and shoulders forming, but it looks like we're starting to break to the upside. So that is good. Guys, we have very high Bitcoin price targets. You know, when the markets are ready, and hey, maybe they're ready now after they had a failed breakout. Um, let's see here. Let's get the correct tool. So we have prices, you know, all the way up. Once we get above like the 73, 74,000, I mean, 78, 80, 96, we have some up there. I believe they're 130. Once it's ready, it's going to rock and roll. And that's when you'll see those aerodrome um, prices go quite a bit higher. But all is well. We'll see how Bitcoin does this weekend. We have some basically between 64, 1 and 64, 3. That's right where we're at yesterday and today. Some potential resistance. Otherwise, the next resistance looks like it's up there at 68, 748, where we reversed before. And then we're up here to 71, 335. And then that's when things start to really heat up. That's going to take you close to the all time highs, which is going to be up here between the looks like 73, 74 or so thousand. But we'll be looking to get long the Bitcoin micro futures. Um, if this thing really starts to continue its breakout higher, but exciting times because if that happens, guys, you're going to see Aerodrome start to really ramp up. Uh, let's see here if we get this correct tool, ramp up to the upside like this. And we're going to start to get back into that dollar mid dollar and hopefully quite a bit higher if we see especially if we see bitcoin into all-time highs i think we should see aerodrome breaking its high from back in here and hopefully so i can test these two three or so dollar targets those are very large moves if that takes place guys i mean you're at a four close to a 400 percent move from current trading up there to 360 so exciting times ahead. Had a decent recovery in the stock market yesterday. Nice high or low. We'll see how that takes place. We have gold moving higher. Stocks moving higher. And Bitcoin looks like it might be ready to continue higher. We got some overhead resistance right in this area though. Got to get back above, and then it's back to 68, 748. Guys, thanks for watching. If you're not yet a subscriber, go ahead and join us here on the channel. Appreciate it, of course, not financial advice. Guys, have a great weekend. I'll catch you in the next one.